You ever like get a text first thing in the morning and then it just like makes your entire day? Yeah, me neither. And I won't stop until I hit the top. I gotta put the work in until I get to the spot. You got this. All right, wait, where are my glasses? Look at that glare, it's so bad. It's tilted. Okay, so what I have done is compiled a list of seven things girls do that guys hate. Okay, so, I mean, I don't really like using the word hate because it's like a really bad word. Like, that's a strong word. That's a strong word. But I mean, like, ladies, pull it together. So, uh, let's get to it. Number one, not eating. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking my honey out on a date. We're going out five-star restaurant, McDonald's, and I'm like, okay, go ahead and order what you want. And she's like, um, can I get number seven, number five, uh, a large Coke, uh, a small fry, N make that a large. You ordering for the whole family? That's all fine and dandy. We go down and sit. I'm finished eating my food. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Look at her food. What did she ate? Three french fries and drank like a sip of her Coke. Where the rest of that food going? <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> Number two, hinting. Okay, so basically girls expect you to know everything they're thinking. So they come up with these complicated ways and codes and techniques and expect, 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 expect us to know what they're thinking without even saying it. Like, what? Like, just tell me. I like you. What's that supposed to mean? Number three, stalking people. Look, if a girl wants to find something out, trust me, she is going to find out. I'm telling you, girls will like, climb the highest mountain, swim the coldest waters, walk the driest deserts to find out why pretty princess underscore 69 liked your last Instagram post of your favorite piece of cheese. No joke. Number four, showing too much. All right, so we're out in public and you think it's okay to walk around wearing those short shorts and showing everybody your long legs. Who you trying to impress? So we're out in public and you think it's okay to wear that low hanging tank top to show the whole entire world your melons, your buns, your coconuts, your tiggle bitties, your lady lumps, your jugs, your sweater stretchers, hooters, your whoopee cushions, your congo bongos, your tts, your tatas, your knockers, your knickers, your balloons, bosoms, busts, baby feeders, beamers, marshmallows, whatever you call them, doesn't matter what you call them, because those don't even belong to you anyway. Those are mine. Number five, jealousy. <laughs> so, just from my experience, in most cases, there's like always that one girl that your girlfriend wants you to stop talking to and that just, it's just inevitable. Babe, you need to stop talking to her. I don't like her. Babe, come on, we're just friends. Like, she's, she's cool. I don't care, I said stop talking to her. Okay, fine, I'll stop talking to her. And I also want you to block her and delete every single picture you ever had with her and never even look in her direction ever again. Then when a guy asks, babe, if there's ever anybody you want me to stop talking to, just let me know. Stop talking to that guy right there. Seriously, babe, you're gonna make me stop talking to my best friend. Literally, he just walked by you in a library. You like literally just met him. I felt like I've known him forever. Okay, fine. Do whatever you want to do. No, wait, babe, I'm sorry. Numero seis. Gender expectations. Some sexism up in here. Okay, so basically what you're saying is just because I'm a guy, just because I was born different, just because I go number one standing up means that there's some jerk in public and he decides to look at your butt. No matter how big, no matter how tall, no matter how muscly he is, you need to hit the gym. I have to stand up against him. I have to call him out. I have to get my butt kicked for you. That's sexist. That's sexist. But look like real deal ladies in that situation, what you should do to save your guy a beating, all you have to do is just be like, babe, it's no big deal. Let's just keep walking. Problem solved. Number seven, last but definitely not least, double standards. I hate double standards, I hate them. Like in any relationship, I don't care who you are, like, hate them, like nobody likes them. 
don't give people double standards. So, so you're mad at me because I didn't say hi to you in the morning when I first woke up. But you could have said hi to me when you first woke up. But I'm the one in trouble. Oh, so basically you can just like talk to any guy you want to, any guy you see. But as soon as I say hi to the lunch lady, I'm in trouble. Don't give people double standards. Uh, it's getting pretty dark. I gotta go. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you should like it. If you can relate to this video, you should like it. If you didn't enjoy this video, you should like it. Also, check out my dancing channel. Link in the description. I make cool dance videos. Actually, they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. Um, that's like it. Yeah, so, uh, also subscribe to this channel. I make videos, like, every week, probably, sometimes, most of the time, not all the time, sometimes, occasionally when I'm not busy. Um, and check out my music on SoundCloud. Check out my music on SoundCloud, and peace.